So Facebook Marketplace is full of garbage people selling things at extremely high prices. And I've been trying to think of a name for a series that I might start. So what about uh, this? On today's episode of Price Gougers of Facebook. On today's episode of Opportunistic Cunts. On today's episode of Sociopaths of Facebook. So on today's episode of People That Should Get Fucked by Gorillas. So on today's episode of People That Should Totally Get the Cur- Alright, so on today's episode of whatever the hell this is, video cards. So upgrading your video card is a fantastic thing. I've done it several times in the past few weeks, oddly enough, but it's fantastic. And then you can flip your old one on Facebook Marketplace or eBay, Craigslist, whatever. And that's fine, but some of these people have these cards listed on here for ridiculous prices. Alright, let's start with a relatively older card. Actually, no, there's no relatively about it. The card came out in 2013. The GTX 760. How much would you pay for one of those? Something tells me it's not $200. There are so many cards that you could get that would stomp the 760. For instance, the 980 Ti. <laughs> there are multiple of these cards I've seen that go for like 2 to 215, 250 at the most, but 350? It's like three generations old. I mean, sure, it's still an okay card for modern games, but really? 350? All right, well, maybe the 980 Ti is just too much for you. And that's still too much. 210, 215, 250, that's just too much. So how about this 970? $200 is still way too much for this card. Like, I don't know what these people are thinking. You can get a relatively modern card, like the 1060, for the same price. Even less, actually. Why would you buy something like that? I don't get it. My guess would be that they're losing money on upgrading and they're trying to offset the price. But these things don't hold the value like people seem to think they do. All right, speaking of 10 series cards, how about this 1070 Ti? The 1070 Ti is a good card, all right? I've sold multiple 1070s myself for 200 and the 1070 Ti is not $125 more worth of graphics card. Why would you pay 325 for it? You wouldn't. You shouldn't. All right, so 325 is pretty bad, but 400? What is wrong with these people? I get it. You're trying to upgrade and you could get like a 5700 XT which would smoke the 1070 Ti for the same money. But you can't just do a linear upgrade like that. You're going to have to put some money out, dude. All right. All right, how about the 1080? What would you pay for a 1080? My guess would be most likely somewhere in the range of three to four hundred bucks, maybe. Maybe on the lower end of that. I highly doubt you would pay 750 bucks for one. That is insane. That's like a launch price. All right, what about a 1080 Ti? You know, you got to have that little Ti boost. How much? I'm guessing it's not 525. Those cards are great. They're amazing. But you can find them all day long for like Four to 450 bucks. 525 is a little insane. You know what though? Maybe you do think 525 is fair for a 1080 Ti. Okay, that's fine. It's your money. But what about 850? Why not just buy that one instead? I mean, if you're going to buy something overpriced, why not go all out? Then again, if 850 is too much, this guy's accepting best offers. Ooh, what about this one? This is another one of those garbage marketplace companies. $2,000 for a 2080 Ti. That is insane. The market value of those cards is like, what, 1200 1400 on the high end? That is insane. All these companies that sell on the marketplace and all these individuals, they just, they try to take advantage of people and it's dirty. What are they doing? Why are they trying to screw people like this? Ugh. The GTX 770. I remember when that card came out. I was going to get one. And back then... I thought maybe I could wait a little bit and get one used for like 150 bucks. But that was like seven years ago. I would not pay that for one today like this guy is trying to sell one for. For the same 150 bucks, I could buy this guy's 960. Which, still, not a great deal, but what are you doing? Like, it's a much newer card. Did you not do any research on market values? Or are you just trying to screw people? I think I already know the answer to that. Okay, here's a 1060, you know. It's an okay card. Relatively recent still. But 220? I know for a fact you can get a 1070 for 200. So 
Why would you buy that? Even worse, it's not just one. There are two listings, both at 220 bucks for the same 1060. Why would you pay that? I really hope people that are buying on Facebook Marketplace are doing research. Because if not, they're gonna get screwed hard by people like this. And here we have another 1080. 450 bucks. Wasn't that like the launch price of the 1070? Why would you pay that? You can get a 2070 right now for about the same money. 2060 Super, somewhere in there, for the same money. Why would you get that? All right, let's go over to Team Red for a minute. Here's another one of those horrible Facebook Marketplace companies. $411 for a RX 5600 XT. You can get a 5700 XT for the exact same price. I know because I literally just bought one a few weeks ago. All right, and last we have a card that technically is not that much above market value, but the problem is the market is not always smart when it comes to prices. We're gonna take a look at a card that is from 2011, almost a decade, and we're talking about the HD 7970, $200 for this card. The listings online are like 180. That's a ridiculous price. No one should be buying this. I don't care what the free market valuates the card at. There has to be an algorithm for actual price values. This ain't it. Anyway, I really like looking at these stupid posts of ridiculous price items. It makes me laugh and it makes me slightly mad at the same time. That being said, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.